As you guys might know, I've recently been getting into 3x3 blindfolded, but I've hit a plateau in my improvement, and I realized that it's largely because I'm pretty bad at scrambles with edge flips or corner twists. In this video, I'm going to share a web app I developed which allows you to practice blindfolded scrambles with a desired number of edge flips and or corner twists. The philosophy behind this project is, you know, if you want to improve at any skill, you want to directly target your weakness or what you're bad at and work on that. And so in the context of blindfold solving, I want to get better at dealing with harder scrambles. And for me, that's scrambles that have edge flips or corner twists because the way that I currently solve them in my blind solving is pretty inefficient. And so this web app is primarily a timer. It generates blindfolded scrambles and you can time them just as you would in CS timer. And you can also go back and essentially see the scramble and copy it to your clipboard to share with others. More importantly, you have a control over a few parameters on the left hand side. And so you can select your edge and corner buffers. Uh, you can choose how many edge flips or corner twists you want on your scramble. The default option is random, which means it'll just generate a completely random state scramble. But let's say I want to practice breaking into edge flips, which is a technique that the fastest solvers use to deal with a single edge flip. And so I can say that I want to have one flipped edge. So essentially the program will always generate scrambles with one flipped edge. And then I can do the exact same thing for corner twists. Another feature which many of you might find helpful is that you can generate a bunch of scrambles, which you can then just input or paste into CS timer. And so click generate scrambles at the bottom right. And if you need to change your buffers, you can just do it with the drop down menus on the left here. Uh, then you have a bit more freedom with the edge flips and corner twists because you can select multiple options. And so say I want to practice scrambles with one or two edge flips, but I also want to practice scrambles with one, two or three corner twists. Then say I want to do like I want to practice a mean of 10 best of three. And so I can say I want 30 scrambles. And then when I click generate, uh, every scramble here will have either one or two edge flips, as well as either one, two, or three corner twists. And so these scrambles are automatically copied to my clipboard, and so then I can go into CS Timer, and then I can change the scramble type to input and just paste them in. And now I get to practice harder scrambles directly in CS Timer. That's all for me. Hope you guys find this to be a helpful tool for your blind solving practice. And if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, whatever, please feel free uh, to leave a comment. Thanks so much.